In this video, we will discuss how you can convert between the, the common basic data types in Python. So similar data types work well together. So numeric data types, we can do algebraic operations on them. String data types, we can concatenate them together. But if we want to work between numeric data types and string data types, for example, they don't always work together. For example, I can't add the integer 10 to the string value 10. These are not compatible types. So, but often we are going to find numeric values embedded in strings, and often we may want to take numeric values and put them into a string. So we want to know how to convert between numeric types to string types, string types to numeric, and even we would like to be able to convert between integers and floats sometimes. So there are three basic functions in Python that help us do this. There's the int function, the float function, and the string function. We'll look at a bunch of examples of how these work. So the, let's look at the int function first. The int function takes an argument, uh, or takes a value passed into it, and tries to convert it into an integer data type. So if I pass an integer value into the int function, well, we just get an integer back. Okay, nothing changes. If I pass a float value, 10.1 for example, into the int function, we will get only the whole part, the whole number part of that float out. So we lose all decimal information. So we can convert a float to an int using the int function. Now if I convert, or if I pass a string value, here I have the string value 10. It's 10 with a pair of quotes around it. This is not a number, this is a string. If I pass a string value, value that contains an integer value inside it, an integer value in characters, then the int function will convert that into the integer value that it holds. So the string containing the characters 1, 0 is converted to the integer value 10. However, if I pass a float, or I'm sorry, if I pass a string value that has a float value inside it, the int function cannot work through that. So you would get an error. It would, your program would crash and you'd get an error thrown. Likewise, if I pass a string value that just doesn't contain any parsable int inside it, we can't convert this kitten value to an int, so we get an error. But the int value can convert float and string values to ints. All right, let's look at the float function. If I pass an integer value into the float function, what happens is we, are, we return the value, the integer value, converted to a float. So we would add this 0.0, to the to the back of our 10. The 10 that was an integer data type would now be a float data type. If I pass a float into the float function, well, we just get the float back. No problem there. Now the float is a little bit more friendly. If I pass an, a string that contains an integer value inside it, the float function can convert that value into the float representation. Okay, so float can handle a string with an integer inside it. The float can also handle a string with a float value inside it. We can get the float value out. Now if I pass a string value that is not, you can't parse it into any integer, then the float value, if you, try, if you call float on that string, you will get an error. And finally, the string method. The string method will just try to convert any numeric value that you pass into it into its, into its string representation. So if, if I pass an integer 10 into the string function, I get the string value 10 out, 1, 0. If I pass the float value 10.1 into the string function, the string function returns the string containing the characters 1, 0.1. And if I pass a string value already into the string function, well, we just get the string function back. So each of these functions, if, they, if you pass the own their own type in, it just gives you that type back. But these are very useful functions to, to be competent in. Uh, we can use them in a whole, just a, more ways than we can count when we're doing things like file processing, etc.